Um, good afternoon. Uh, I wanted to present to you my physics page because I thought it would be an exemplary work of what I've done for the past few quarters. Um, I for the for the project we had to make our own bridge out of up to 250 popsicle sticks, and I wanted to go between a few different models of bridges. So the first one that I wanted to try out was a Pratt truss bridge. It had an even distribution of forces and was predictable, so it will always work if it was done correctly. But it doesn't hold a lot of weight because the forces are more directed towards the top part and not as much towards the bottom. The K truss bridge would have a strong design. It would hold a lot of weight. Um, the short sticks would form the K shapes that you see and the middle would form a diamond. Um, and because of that, it would, it would um, improve against resistance, against buckling. So the forces would be even on both the top and the bottom. But it's not very predictable, as if you do not put the forces correctly and everything is not even, then it could buckle in the middle and would ultimately fail. Now the warm truss has an even distribution of forces on both the top and the bottom, since it has the X shapes. And it would be predictable just because you know because of that, but it doesn't hold a lot of weight because the forces are repeating too much. So I chose to do the K truss bridge, as you can see. I wanted to try and see if I could get the forces to be even enough, and I would you know it would be a 50-50 chance. But I thought I could try it out anyway, test my knowledge of how it would work, try out my engineering skills. Um, so it started off, I chose, as you can see, the designs for it. I sketched it out first because I wanted to see, you know, exactly the numbers for everything. So I numbered out everything it had to be because it has to be at least 12 inches long. I mean, 14 inches, sorry, because the space that we were holding it on was 14, was 12 inches. It had to be at least an inch on both sides. So I put 17.5 um, inches on the bottom and then go inward towards the center on the top so that it would be even and the sticks would be able to go up straight. And at first I kind of messed up and I'd start over because I accidentally put the supporting sides the wrong way. And so I had to kind of keep fixing that in the back. You can see my first base, my trial with the base, that didn't really work very well. It wasn't very sturdy and it was kind of slanted so I had to try again with the one that I have now. And I added in the caves, and at that point, it was starting to do look pretty well, but it wasn't very sturdy because it wasn't very thick. So I started to add on to that, and I reinforced both the top and the bottom, and then also on the side so that all sides of it would be even. And if you would put anything on top of it, it would be sturdy. That's how it turned out, and you can see it here. Um, I added the color just so it would look a little better, and you can see that I have it like four sticks on each side on the K's and on the bottom. I have about three layers on the top and two layers on the bottom, and cross hatched on both the bottom and the middle and the top so that it would be sturdy enough. Questions? Well, it was supposed to be a group project, but I requested if I could do it on my own. Why? Because I don't really work very well with groups, <laughs> and it kind of gets a little hectic in translation with what you want to do. So I wanted to try it on my own, see if I could do it on my own, get my head together. Um, have you found any like greater appreciation for bridges as a result of doing this? Like, yes. you now look at the Golden Gate Bridge and into it. Yeah, because it's, it's kind of it's harder than it looks, a lot harder than it looks. Because even how, no matter how many times I tried to fix it, it still come, came out like slightly slanted because of the glue. So it's like I kind of think about it. And it's like how long did it take them to go for it, or what issues did they come across as they were doing like making the actual bridges? And I kind of think about it a little more because bridges that we use have to have people going across and so I think of movies like Final Destination where like they fall apart with people on them so <laughs> it's kind of like <laughs> really hard to get it to work 100% and get it cleared for people to be on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much weight does this hold? 45 pounds. 45 pounds. Yes. Can you touch it? Yeah. 
So well, you would glue it as uh, as you went along, I imagine, right? Yes. How long would you have to wait um, between doing each part? Like, would you like do this and be like, okay, I'll let that dry first? Or could you I actually use hot glue. Okay. And since I use hot glue, it would dry within the minute. So I just glue and keep going to the next part. Oh, okay. That's yeah. cool. That's good. How many hot glue sticks did it take? A lot. Like, ten. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't want to put too much glue because then it would make it brittle and it would 